So in Africa specifically, uh, there is one type of mosquito called the Anopheles mosquito, and they are the only mosquito responsible for malaria transmission. And these mosquitoes, their behavior, when and where they bite people, um, that is what transmits the parasites. That's what leads to that deadly disease. So it's really important as an entomologist and as just humans to understand those behaviors. It's important to note that Anopheles stevens eye was detected in Kenya from mosquitoes collected in 2022. Um, and the extent of the distribution of the species at that immediate point in time wasn't really known. So Anopheles stevens eye has the potential of putting um, 126 million people at risk of malaria if it goes unchecked. It seems to be continuing to expand. We're continuing to monitor here in Kenya. It's a concern that eventually that's, that is gonna hap what happened in Djibouti, what happened in Ethiopia is, is going to repeat itself here in Kenya. This past year, uh, here at CDC, we created uh, what is called the Class Assay, and it is a lamp um, assay for detection of Anopheles stevensi. It is basically a one-temperature, one-time assay that allows for the detection of Anopheles stevensi. It's also a very adaptable tool, and we could think about using it for identification of other mosquitoes. We are very fortunate to have great collaborations um, in Kenya, and there was an opportunity to really use the assay to see where the mosquitoes is and to validate it in the field with wild-caught invasive Anopheles stevens eye. The yellow. Yeah, the yellow color indicates a positive test, so that means we have Stephen's eye. That's it's a positive ID for Stephen's eye. Then all the other pink ones are not. Yeah, so it's as easy as that. Because the sooner a program knows that this vector has invaded a, a new area, the sooner they can try to take measures to control that mosquito. The LAMP assay is an innovative new assay that allows for early detection of Anopheles stevens eye. And uh, when deployed to countries, it will allow them to have readiness and response to um, this invasive mosquito and prevent um, malaria outbreaks from happening before they even start. <laughs>